Alright guys, so we are going to run through a damage over time build for the mid game of Monster Sanctuary. So unlike our previous build, things are starting to get a little tougher, the skill ramp is ramping up, and it's time that we really started synergizing our team build. Now, with the monsters we've currently got, and from the previous video that I showed you, we've got to decide what sort of debuffs we want to apply. And as one of the best tanks in our team is Yaoi, and Yaoi comes with this beautiful talent, Congeal, which lets chill damage actually damage enemies based on their missing mana. We're going to roll with a chill debuff team and throw in some other debuffs around the way. But what this will allow us to do is deplete enemy teams of mana so they can't cast anything too strenuous at us, whilst also building up large amounts of damage over time. Now the kind of thinking we're applying to this team can be applied to any sort of damage over time monster build in Monster Sanctuary, and that's what makes it such a good game. So what are our skills? Well, Yaoi is still going to be our tank, so in the third tree we still want Taunt, where we're going to defend our other higher damage outputting monsters, and we're going to take all the right hand side again, we're still going to buff, we're going to take the healing tree, so we can cast Life Wave to keep everybody alive, because we're going to build up our damage over time, we might not kill teams as quickly as we would with a previous build. So we're going to need a bit of sustainability within our own team and defense and shield as we let the ticks build up on the other monsters and wipe them out. So I'd still prioritize looking at life wave once, of course, you've got your congeal at level 20. Alongside that, we're also going with Ice Storm, which hits all enemies and gives them a 50% chance to apply chill. We're going to stack chill on everybody. And I'll get to that in a minute. We also have additional chances to apply chill in this first tree using Icy Skin, which gives a 40% chance of the, any monster attacking Yaoi to contract chill and also applying chill to a single monster at the start of combat. With this build, the maximum amount of mana used in a turn is about 160. So we need a mana regen that can cover that. So at the moment here we're at 155 mana but with 216 total mana, so it'll take a while for our mana pool to run out. And on top of that, any kind of magical power, but most importantly, get that health on Yaoi. Yaoi's healing is health dependent, so the more health you get on him, the more healing he'll do. Also, we're throwing in a bit of defense because he's going to take a beating. On top of that, don't forget to feed your monster. So again, Yaoi, health, we have plied this lad with carrots, which has given us an extra 450 health on him. For our second monster, we've got Frosty. Now the key point about Frosty is the aura multi-chill. This lets us stack multiple instances of chill on an individual enemy. And again, if you're applying this to any debuff team, you need a monster with the specific debuff for the kind of debuff that you're going for within your team to allow you to stack those multiple times. Each stack is only half as strong, but it's still massively important to rack up that damage as you rack the debuffs up on the enemies. Then it's just a case of using Frosty to his full potential. So one, we're all about the shield tree in the fifth column, including the ice shield talent, which applies a shield, but also applies chill to one additional enemy. And this is very useful because from my experience, it also tends to always apply a debuff to any enemy who doesn't have the debuffs if the other enemies are already at the max number of debuffs, in our case three. So it's nice and targeted, and obviously it gives your team a whole lot of shield to sustain. From there, it's just a case of also having skills which will apply more chill to the team. We're going for a blanket hit all enemies approach, and for that we're using Ice Storm, which hits all enemies and gives us a 50% chance to apply chill, very similar to what there is on Yaoi. So with Frosty, again, max skill is going to take up about 160 mana, so we need a mana regen that can cover that kind of level. Here we're at 150. And on top of that, sh the shields that he provides are all down to his defense values. So on top of having something which provides a high level of magic uh, to cover the ice storm, we're also looking at buffing our defense. So here you can see we're using the Cestus for extra defense, the shell, and then the bracelet and the sustain ring are really helping us with that mana regen. One aspect of having a damage of a time team is that you're going to go through more rounds than you would with just a standard high damage single target team. And for this, you might be more likely to need more mana regen than you might be able to smash out in a, in a single target build. 
And so, on to our damage dealer. For this, we are going with the Manticorbe. Now, again, the Manticorbe will apply Ice Storm, Blanket Chill. But what's likely is in slightly tougher battles, we're going to hit that max three debuffs of chill on every monster quite comfortably. So what we're going to do with the Manticorb as well, along with going for the chill column in the far right hand side, we're also going to take high single target damage items on the other columns that lets us apply, ad apply additional debuffs. So here we're going for Ignite, where we're going to apply Burn, which applies additional damage based on magic or attack value, whichever is higher. And also Voltage, which applies Shock, which adds an extra 40% damage to any additional attack that you run after a monster is shocked. And with that, then we're going to pick up items that improve our magic or give additional effects when we hit extra attacks, like Hex here, which has a 7.5% chance to apply a random debuff with every hit, which with our single target attacks, this is going to really ramp up the chance of us applying the additional debuffs. You know what I'm going to say now? Mana regen to keep us sustained because Manticorb is our damage dealer. It's all about getting that extra magic in there. We've got a bit overkill with the mana regen here. Uh, and the additional mana with that magic, Manticorb is going to burn through anybody we come across. So let's look at this in action. So here we go. We're facing some brawlishes, which are actually resistant to our water damage, but still we're going to burn through them with the damage over time. So first we're going to buff our monsters. Then we're going to ice shield them. See the shield going up. And you'll see that our first enemy already has two stacks of chill on him. Then our Manticorb is going to apply chill to everybody. Now, unfortunately, we get no stacks of chill out that first round. We've absorbed minimal damage from that first round of attacks. So now we're going to start applying more chill. Bit more Ice Storm for everybody. Still only one extra stack of chill. Another Ice Shield, which will add one more stack of chill to somebody else. There we go. And then more Ice Storm. So we've got five stacks on the enemy now. Keep repeating this. And now Chilling Wind is very useful because it has four hits and each hit applies chill. However, it's only to an individual target. So we're going to pick the guy that's got no stacks and instantly we're up at three. So now everybody's on full stacks. We can let the chill and the congeal do its work. However, to help this along, Voltage will apply shock and add additional 40% damage with each one of those chill hits. So now watch the damage kick in. There you go. There's one done from his chill hits. And the other guy. The other guy's taking substantial damage there. Now as we've maxed out a chill. More voltage all round. And just let the ticks do their work. Bit of rinse and repeat. Throw in some ignite for some extra burn. More debuffs. Watch the ticks fly. And there we go. We're still shielded up through the eyeballs. And we win comfortably. And there you go folks. These ideas can be applied to any kind of damage over time build. Let me know how you do it and let me know anything else you'd like to see in terms of build videos. Anyway, enjoy your Monster Sanctuary and I'll catch you in a bit, folks.